right now you can see in this video deteriorating sidewalks. They're a big problem across Los Angeles. But with a tight budget, the question is who is going to pay to fix them? NBC4's Kim Maldonado is in South LA where the work started today. And Kim, again, how are crews paying for those repairs? Well, very interesting, Kathy. If a sidewalk is in need of repair to, due to the roots of a city tree like this one here, then the city is responsible. But that doesn't mean the city will actually pay for it. Lack of money has caused a huge backlog. In fact, the homeowner here has been complaining for four years. That's why her city council member teamed up with a nonprofit to get this one fixed cheaper and quicker than using city employees. It's a sound you don't hear often enough in the city of L.A., the sound of a jackhammer repairing a sidewalk. And we wrote letters, letters, and letters telling them that the roots were uprooting, you know, the sidewalks. This is a sidewalk in front of Helen Young's South L.A. home. The 80-year-old says fear of falling on the sidewalk, made incredibly uneven by large tree roots, left her unable to walk out her own front door. She's not the only one affected by this growing problem. It's the number one complaint we get in the community. L.A. City Council Member Bernard Park says about 40% of the city's sidewalks are in need of repair. Fixing all of them would cost $1.5 billion. Since that amount is not allocated in the city budget, Parks is using $350,000 in discretionary funds to hire private contractors to fix some of the worst sidewalks in his district. Last month, Councilmember Jose Huizar announced he would also use discretionary funds, 250000 worth, to repair sidewalks in his district. And the beautiful part of this, Kim, is that everyone's talking about fixing the problem. But Councilmember Joe Buscaino says a few hundred thousand here and there is not enough to solve the problem, which is why he's looking into a half-cent sales tax increase to pay for street and sidewalk repairs. Uh, what a great effort of creating 40,000 jobs within a 15-year period and fixing uh, streets and sidewalks. Parks opposes the tax increase, saying city leaders instead need to make tough fiscal choices and find the money in the city's general fund. It's an ongoing debate, which leaves residents navigating broken sidewalks and pothole-filled streets on a daily basis. The city council has until July 1st to decide if that half-cent sales tax increase should be put on the November ballot. If it is, it would need to pass by a two-thirds majority. Reporting live from South L.A., Kim Baldonado, NBC4 News.